Hi! How's it going? That was probably stupid of me just to do. Also, uh, <laughs> it's official! I now have curly hair! Wait... <laughs> this is the last movie process! I'm not supposed to have curly hair! Oh, my brother is supposed to have curly hair! I'm supposed to have straight hair! How is it this... I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable having curly hair. Not that... I, I don't know, like, where, where is a... Like, hang on. I just did, like, a random drawing for, like, a TikTok I was gonna do, but I have no time. Um, this is supposed to be my hairstyle. This is my brother's hairstyle. I, that, that's, that's supposed to be my hairstyle. Just, okay, that's not the point. The point is, uh, hello, one. Back to another movie vlog. You won't be seeing this until Friday, but I will be posting that on a theater reaction. Which you probably will already <laughs> seen at the time. But just, uh, I am kind of rushing this because we have about ten minutes until we gotta dip out. Well, ten leave. Unless I'd say another hour, but just, just still. So tonight, we're about to go see Doom Part 2 in a fan early screening for IMAX. And let's just say I'm kind of in a rush on wanting to get there early because you're either there early or you're late. There's Because there's no such thing as on being on time. I think that's how the phrase goes. But just, uh, just a quick thoughts. Unless I just save it all for when I go see it again with my grandparents this Friday. As I did mention something about that in my Doom Part 1 movie vlog, which... By the way, let's just talk about Dune for a sec, which I am going to do a review sometime this week in preparation for the movie coming out, which I was probably already posted by then, but just, um, so I don't know when I mentioned about this, but I was shocked to find out that Dune was being split into two parts once the tile logo popped up when I was watching the movie with Angel, which, that was a dumb mistake that I did watching it at home when I should have saw it in theaters, which, luckily, I redeemed myself as of three weeks ago. <laughs> Anyways, so just, yeah, uh, now that I've seen Doom Part 1 in IMAX, I feel satisfied, and, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see Part 2 tonight in IMAX, as, uh, I've been hyped for this, as I've waited patiently. I mean, as the movie ended, I knew I was gonna have to wait for, like, who knows how long until they make Part 2, I'm like, okay, wonder when they're gonna make Part 2, and once they announced when they'd be coming out, I'm like, okay, two years, I can wait that long. If it were a Marvel movie, or another good example, if this was Fast and Furious, and I had to wait two years, I would not wait patiently for two years, which, I like, how do I explain So, with Dune, I am able to wait patiently with that. Like, I could wait another two years just for part two to come out, even though it didn't come out in 2023, unfortunately, due to the writers and actors strike happening at the time. But with Fast and Furious, uh, part one and two, Fast and Furious 10, part one and two, yeah, after... Seeing Fast X last year, yeah, I, <laughs> I want part two right now. There's no way I'm waiting another... Well, technically, we would be worth it because we're in 2024 and the movie comes out in almost one year before April 4th of 2024. But just still, though, it depends on the movie because, like, this is one I can handle being patient on. And, yeah, it's only been delayed, like, once because it was originally supposed to come out November 3rd of last year. But, like I said, it got delayed due to the strikes. But eventually, once the strikes were over, they... Pushed it up from March 15th, which was the day they delayed it to. Which they took Godzilla X Kong's release day, because that was the original release day for that movie that was supposed to be coming out. Then they, thanks to them pushing that, they had to push Godzilla vs. Kong 2 to April 12th. Which I did not mind, because it's coming out on my birthday. So it's not coming out near my birthday, but oh well. It's coming out on the 29th of March. So almost in one month from this Thursday. But yeah, once the strikes were over, uh, they decided just to, screw it, let's have the movie come out on the first day of March, so it's coming out this Friday, and uh, I'll be seeing it again this Friday, I'd see it Thursday night, but I have places to be on Thursday, and where? That's none of your business, but that's the point. The point is just that, uh, hopefully we don't miss anything, and if we do, then I, I'll, I'll pretty much see what I missed once I go see it again with my Nana this right. I don't know, but one thing I am bummed out about is, uh, so, a while ago, I mentioned in my Argyle movie vlog, part 2, um, <laughs> I was hoping to get costumes for Dune, part 2, for me and Mom, I'm, I was gonna get one for me, but I didn't know my mom was gonna tag along with me on dressing up, so I was like, oh wow, I didn't know you wanted to dress up with me, but okay, let's do it. We, let's just say we were a bit too late on trying to get the costumes, not that we didn't even try ordering them, we haven't even bothered ordering them, because we've just been busy with, you know, well, my mom's been busy with work, I've been busy trying to catch up with schoolwork, but just... Yeah, we didn't have enough time to try to order the costumes, so even if we tried ordering them earlier this weekend, they were not getting here on time. Now we could try, but it's best if we just save up our money on other costumes we'll try again on wearing together, which would be... Oh, I don't know. 
these guys right here, which I intended on making a video on unboxing these, which I had to get these. I know I am 17 years old, and these are toys. Just, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say other than just that I'm just too damn hyped, and I'm like on like I I, I don't know how to say other than that I like to collect merchandise stuff, but still though, with that being said, uh yeah, we should I should probably. Yeah, get going. I don't want to make too much storage for this, um, but just quick thoughts before we even go see Doom Part 2. So, um, yeah, uh, I have been hyped ever since they released the first trailer. Like, no, that I've watched that first trailer non-stop. I know they released trailer 2 and 3, but I enjoyed the first trailer a lot more, mainly because of the music in the end. Like, I don't know, that Doom music is just... Like, if you see my trailer reaction, which will be here... Dude, I think I just got chills. Oh, I love the music. We gave her something to hope for. I thought my life chip been shattered. Dude, I think I got chills. Holy sh! Oh, dude, like no, I just that trailer kind of went hard. So just no, that got me fully hyped up, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to have the full appetite. As no wait, the full the full main course. As part one was the appetizer, part two will be the main course. And apparently, there's also a third book or second book or something. Something about Dune Messiah. I have a feeling they're probably going to do a trilogy. I don't know. I mean, I fear they're probably just doing two movies, but something tells me we couldn't have, like, some of a maybe cliffhanger at part two. I don't know. We shall see. But I'm going to try not to say too much since it's a fan screening. This movie doesn't come out till Thursday night. But just, uh, no. So, after we've gotten, like, two more trailers after the first one, I was like, okay, I've seen, I think I've seen, okay, I, will, I want to see this movie now. I'm a bit bummed out. This got delayed. I was like, Dang it, it got delayed, but just, I now would like to see this movie. Like, I've seen enough trailers, the first one already had me hooked in, but just, still though, so, um, yeah, I definitely enjoyed part one, uh, yeah, it was definitely one of the best movies I saw in 2021, but I'm ready for the main course, and I'm expecting this movie just to be on my top ten list already. I, I already know this is gonna go on my top ten list. I mean, everyone's been praising the hell out of this movie, like, all, like, with everyone just praising it, I'm like, Again, Deja Vu from last year with how everyone was just praising John Wick Chapter 4. I'm like, okay, this is getting so many good reviews. What the heck? But just, uh, I have a feeling that Dune Part 2 will probably be the John Wick Chapter 4 for me. For this year. Because I enjoyed Chapter 1 to 3, but Chapter 4 has no right being that damn good. And it's probably going to happen the same with Dune Part 2, but we shall see. I don't know. I mean, it is the same runtime as the first one, just about two minutes shorter, but... Anyway, so, I don't know what final thoughts I got under that. Yeah, I'm excited to check this out, and, uh, I'm gonna do, do a transition of us getting there in three, two, one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys. Guys. It's so beautiful. It's here. Okay. Getting ready. Alright. Y'all know the drill. Uh, well, I'll be seeing spoilers later for my March 1st arrives, but... I'm now heading into the theater. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. It's currently almost 11 p.m. In other words, it's school night. I should be asleep right now, as I just got back from the theater. <laughs> Uh, just, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my lordy. I kind of want to post this early, now that I think about it. I don't know, I mean, I, I don't even know how, what, what can I even talk about? I definitely gotta see this again, just because, uh, I was running a bit late getting there. I I did that was like the only thing I recorded. Like just 
yeah, I got to finish recording. Uh, I was in a rush just to uh, uh, get my siblings ready as they were going to go stay the weekends at their grandma's. I just, yeah, we were kind of rushed. Uh, I was, I knew I was going to miss a little bit, but I think I probably missed like good solid eight minutes because, I don't know, I feel like I definitely missed eight minutes, but I'm going to be seeing it again with my grandma this Friday, but just... No, so yeah, I got there and just all I, I only had time just to record uh, just me walking into the IMAX theater room where I saw the glorious Deadpool three poster. But you no, know, I I was in the, I was just having a nice conversation with my mom, and just um yeah. Before I say anything, a uh, quick shout out to my mom. Like, uh, she's been working her ass off. Yeah, you know, just I don't know how to explain, it, but just. I want to shout out my mom, because, uh, <laughs> she, ah, I can't find the right word, but just, I guess I could use, use the bomb, because, I, I, I don't know, just, like, I remember how exhausted she was after a long weekend, and, and she mentioned how she may not be able to tag along with me, as we were, originally we were both going to go see this in costumes, also that didn't work out, but didn't have time for that, but just, now I, I understood it, I guess. I'm fine going to the theaters by myself, but during a little, like, down in the, in the movie, like, as the movie was still going, I noticed someone was coming up, and I'm like, Mom? I was surprised to see my mom just, like, tag along, and like, Mom, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to head home. You said you were tired, and she's like, oh, no, I'm still in pain, but I said, screw it, so, yeah, I had a dumb smile on my face, seeing my mom, I just... Yeah, and after the movie was over, I had to make sure, um, because, like, uh, she just was, like, very exhausted to where she felt dizzy, because she's just always working her butt off. Kind of sort of with how I'm doing, except differently, of course. I don't have a job. I just am multitasking. Like, for example, whenever I stay up late, I just be, uh, working on homework or editing a video. Or just watch TV. But just, no, I just want to give a shout out to my mom. Uh, she's amazing, but uh, it was, it was awesome seeing her just, like, I just wasn't expecting her just to, just, like, I, and she didn't even, like, left the theater after she dropped me off. She just went to use the restroom, and it's like, you know what, screw it. Okay, I'm in a lot of pain, but screw it. I'm gonna go see, I'm gonna go watch this with my son. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a good time. And yeah, we did have a good time. No, like, I don't know what to say about this movie other than just two words that I'm going to show in a meme photo that I downloaded from Twitter. Two words I had to say about this movie. Absolute cinema. Just. <laughs> oh, God dang it. I may just cave in on posting this early. I may just stay up late posting this. I should be asleep now, but I may just. Okay, then, I'm, 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 god dang it, looks like I'm splitting this in two parts, part one's just the spoiler free, cause like, I could talk spoilers, as I always do in my movie vlogs, but just, no, like, oh my god, no, <laughs> okay, I'll admit, um, there were times I did felt underwhelmed, but I was not left disappointed, uh, but by underwhelmed, I was expecting a 10 out of 10. I'm back and forth. I'm back and forth on giving this a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. But I guess I shall fully decide once I go see it again this Friday. But just... No, as soon as the movie was over... I was speechless. I couldn't I couldn't even believe how the movie ended. Like, that was bonkers to me. But just, um... No, as soon as I walked into... The, but yeah, like I said earlier. I missed a little bit of the opening scene. But I'll see it again this Friday. But... As I walked into the theater, it was jam-packed. And that put a smile on my face, because I live for that sh**. Now, of course, I wasn't expecting, like, a theater reaction, like, No Way Home, for example, because I knew how packed that theater was, and everyone lost their sh**. For when Toby and Andrew popped up, but no. I wasn't expecting, like, uh, something like what No Way Home gave me, but no, I I just love it when a theater is packed. Because lately, the best few movies I've not... I've not seen a packed theater. I mean, I mean, there was a little bit packed when I went to go see Godzilla Minus One for 
early in the stream, but no, that was a good experience. Even though there wasn't that many, well, there was a few people, but it wasn't like entirely packed, packed. But this one was packed. Like no, it was jam packed. I I had a feeling, but just no. Um, I'm completely speechless. Honestly, I words cannot describe how. Like I I. I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin, whether I just talk spoiler-free thoughts, or just the experience, like, no, <laughs> I, I'm totally speechless, this was just, I, I, I don't even know what to say, I don't even know what to say, other than just, it was absolute cinema, you know, I'll say a few quick things, then probably end it off here, because I don't want to make it too long, plus I got to Get ready for school tomorrow, and yeah, I'm screwed. I'm just, I'm posting this. I'm posting this tonight, but just um, no. Tell him, tell me, I can't pronounce his name correctly. Timothy Chalamet killed it. He absolutely killed it in this movie. Like no, <laughs> and the third act, especially with that fight scene between Timothy and Austin Butler. Like no, that that was awesome. I, I was looking forward to that. Like, no, that that was awesome. And uh, the, the way it ended, I guarantee you they're probably going to do a third part if they want to cap off this trilogy as I'm shocked to find out that there happens to be a book series of Dune. And I should probably, like, there's a few things I don't understand entirely, which means I should probably read the freaking book, which contains 704 pages. Oh, Jesus Christ. But just, uh, I guarantee you, we're probably going to get a third movie, which would be Dune Messiah. There's a lot of, that word was used a lot throughout this entire movie. Messiah, Messiah, Messiah. Like, no, they, they definitely got to be making a third one. I guarantee, I guarantee it. But as this, this movie, this movie was just part, like, part one and part two are basically just book one, just split into two, as far as I know. Then again, I don't know much because I've never read the book. I don't. I don't know much about Dune. I at first I mistakenly thought it was part of the monsters because of a giant worm, but just no. Like I'll tell you this. This is definitely going on my top ten best movies of twenty twenty four because this happens to be one of the best movies I've seen so far this year. Like no, like I've I've been enjoying the last few movies. The only movies I've enjoyed the most were just Argyle and Beekeeper, but. Wouldn't expect, I wasn't going to have them on my top 10 list, but finally got one on my list. So that's one down and nine more to go <laughs> for my top 10 best movies of 2024. But just, all I got, yeah, another thing I'll, all I got to say is definitely see this in IMAX. No, like this is, an ex, you, not, you need to experience this in theaters. You need to see this in IMAX for the experience. Like, no, this was just, wow. And something I just... That crossed my mind, and it's kind of the sad truth. But uh, as I walked into the theater, notice how packed it was. I'm like thinking of like, oh wait, imagine if this was a superhero movie, this wouldn't be packed. And that's where it hit me. Super movies are dead. Yeah, as of last year, the era has kind of came to an end, pretty much. Unfortunately, that's the sad truth. But just. Cinema is back for everybody. I mean, I'm still gonna check out superhero movies because I'm a sucker for superhero movies. But just that's just what came to my mind seeing a packed day. Like, yeah, superhero movies are kind of dead. Unless Deadpool three has a packed day, which I hope so. Which I'm hoping to have that experience like I did with Going Home once I go see Deadpool three this summer. Deadpool Wolverine with my brother dressed up as Deadpool Wolverine. As that is the one movie vlog I'm looking forward to making on the channel. Which back to topic, just um. No, like, I'm, like, I just, as soon as the movie was over, I was completely speechless. But this was a pretty, no, this is, a, this was an experience, this was, this was definitely a night to remember, and a pretty awesome experience, like, wow. I, like, seriously, though, just, wow. The, like, these kind of are my type of movies? Well, they kind of are. It, it's complicated, but just... <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you this. I'm glad I saw this in theaters, and I'm glad this was not done on HBO Max. If 
they were to be continuing that whole HBO Max and theaters type of thing, which obviously that they stopped doing that because most of their movies didn't do well at the box office. Well, some of them didn't do well. As far as I know, one of them did do well, which would be Godzilla vs. Kong. And we shall see how Godzilla x Kong will do, which... That's gonna be the next movie I see in IMAX. Like, after Doom Part 2, that's the next movie I'm seeing in IMAX, and that is Godzilla x Kong. <laughs> now, that's gonna be awesome, but just... I'll try to talk spoilers for once I go see it again with my Nana. But just, uh, I think that's all I'm gonna say here. I'm just trying to collect my thoughts, because this... Was this is just a lot to take in? I don't. I just. I. I just have no words other than just two, absolute cinema. So all I can say is that Timothy Chalamet was awesome in this movie. That final act, Chef's Kiss, just uh, just freaking awesome. See this in IMAX. See this in IMAX. Like long live cinema. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here, but just, uh, sorry this wasn't much, but, uh, hopefully expect more on March 1st, unless it's probably gonna be something like this. I don't know, but we shall see, but, uh, I guess I shall, I shall see you all for my part two movie vlog of Dune part two, which then I shall try to dump spoilers, uh, which that link will pretty much just be my movie review. That's the that thing about it, my part two movie vlog will just be my movie review of Dune. <laughs> of Doom Part, just, anyways, so just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how am I gonna talk about both films separately, unless I just do a double movie review, I'm kinda tempted on the idea, but, I'm gonna go work on a thumbnail, just get stuff ready, just, uh, yeah, hopefully I don't stay up too late, cause I'd rather not stay up that late, I, I'm already caught in storage, just making this 13 minutes long, but, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, definitely see this in IMAX, this, no, <laughs> this, See it in IMAX. See it in IMAX. Uh, you won't regret it. But just, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hey.